A woman died after a 13-year battle with cancer, leaving her husband ashamed that he couldn't pay for a funeral. That's when he decided to get Marty. What are you doing, Gabby? Come on. Gabby the pug is out of sorts these days, lost in her own home. That dog even knew something was up, man. Eugene Bresinelli is a train wreck. Oh, it eats me up inside. I mean, it really hurts. Still, this is a love story. I made that decision 13 years ago to take care of her. 13 years ago, Deb Bresinelli was diagnosed with two brain tumors. Doctors operated, gave her a year to live. Eugene set up a hospice of sorts right here in their apartment. He took care of her. When she was here, she got 24-hour round the clock, one-on-one, -on -one, you know, one-on-one -on -one care. It was no better than that, and I enjoyed it. I mean, I really did. I didn't mind doing it for her because I loved her. Deb passed here in her lift chair a few weeks ago, wearing her Steeler blanket. And she'd sit there and watch her Steelers. The 13-year battle to keep Deb alive ruined the couple financially. When she died, Eugene didn't have a nickel to pay for what he calls a proper funeral. I felt I didn't feel like a man. I, I mean, I, I should have been able to provide for him. This email changed all of that, sent to us from Eugene. He says, referring to his wife's passing and his sadness, half my heart and soul got taken away when my wife passed, and with these difficulties, I am losing my will to live. We had to do something. She passes, and all you want to do is give her a proper burial. That's it. And, and thanks to you guys, I can't get. So I read the emotional email on KDK Radio, placed it on Facebook. Within an hour, this email. One of our listeners is on her way down to the funeral home to pay the entire bill. I've never seen anything like it before. The folks here at Solon Funeral Home were blown away. One woman paid for the entire funeral. Other anonymous donors paid for the gravestone and other necessities. It's really neat to see the kindness of all these people. He, he was, Eugene was a stranger to them, and because of all their generosity, he was able to honor the life of his wife in a meaningful way. Oh, man, you're a hell of a man. For Eugene, finally peace, knowing the love of his life can now rest in peace. I owe my life to her for just being by my side. And this is your gift? I don't know if it's a gift or not, Marty, but it is, actually, it's a gift. You know what I mean? For her to know that she's taken care of properly. To me, that, that starts to heal my heart a little bit more. Well, all of the donations went directly to the funeral home, paying for the services and the burial. All told, thousands of dollars, almost $5,000. All of it from strangers. All of them want to remain anonymous. It's a heck of a gesture. Yeah, it really is. It's really remarkable that the people in this area continue just to give and give and give when they know it's needed. I called the woman from Cannonsburg who drove to the funeral home. She paid for the entire funeral. I said, just let me mention your name. No way. Right. She said, I've been blessed. We've been blessed. We're going to pass, pass the blessings along. Wow. Really, really cool. It is cool. That's that Pittsburgh. Is. Yeah. It is. Thanks, Marty.